Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Marie and I teach you how to. In today's video, we are gonna be playing around with Makesy's Ultra Cream Paraffin Pillar Wax. I'm really excited to use this wax because it's very hard to find a really high quality paraffin wax. Um, and this one, you know, it's, it's vegan, it's clean burning, it's non-toxic. So I was definitely curious about it. And I'm mostly curious about it because I want to, you know, a pillar wax is a wax that hardens very, very hard, um, that you can put it in molds and you can unmold and it can take different shapes. And that's what I wanted to use it for. I want to, so I have these cute little molds. This one is, um, a bunch of different seashells. Um, and this one is a chrysanthemum flower. And this one is just to see how easily it comes out of molds and how it keeps its shape. I wanted to try a few different shapes to see how it would look. Um, so obviously these are not getting wicked. They're gonna be for decoration purposes. And since they're gonna be decorative, so like these little um, seashells, I'm gonna be you know, giving them a little bit of color with some mica, maybe doing a little bit of gold dust on them. And then these are what's called embeds. And you can put those directly on an existing candle right on top and they can be an extra decoration. So they're really cute. I know there's um, candle makers out there that have done like little cactuses and little flowers that they put on top of their candles and they look totally adorable. So this is definitely the kind of wax that you wanna use for that is a pillar wax because again, it solidifies like rock hard so you can take it out of these molds and it retains its shape beautifully but then obviously when it's close to a wick or heat it melts just like a regular wax so that's what we're going to do today we're going to try out some of these molds with this wax and i'm also going to do a um container uh candle of this wax as well i'm curious how it burns i want to see the smoothness like is it nice and flat um, so I do want to see kind of the burning, the throw, everything like that with it. And according to Makesy guidelines, uh, the best wick, if you're using a wooden wick to use is a crackling two. Um, and so that's, it's a single, single ply crackling two. That's what I have here. So that's what I'm going to be using for my container candle. And again, that's mostly to see about, um, hot throw, cold throw, and is it smooth? How does it dry? How does it burn? Um, so that's the testing I'm going to do there. And then of course, we're going to do our embeds and let's get started. According to Mixi, this wax is best heated to over 160 and up to 200 degrees. Um, since my digiboils are full of coconut soy wax and I don't want to mix them, I have purchased Mixi's adorable little nine liter um, melter, wax melter. So that's what we're gonna be using today to melt this wax. This wax is very interesting um, to look at. So it's actually in like, almost like a, not crystals, but like little beads. Um, it's in bead form, which to me makes it so simple to use. And it's gonna be very, very easy to melt. So I can't imagine this taking very much time to melt at all. All right, so let's get this in the melter so we can get started. So our wax is completely melted and honestly that took all of 20 minutes to get to temperature. So, so far, very impressed with this little guy. Uh, so now that we have everything melted, I am going to add fragrance. And what you want to remember is that with this particular wax, you don't want to add more than 10%. That is the fragrance load. So you don't want to go over that if you want optimal results. So the fragrance I've chosen today is part of Makesy's Lux for Less line. So this 16 ounce um, bottle was $29, which is an insane deal considering the quality of Makesy fragrances. And I have chosen Penang Ginger and Saffron Suede. This was a new fragrance that came out for the fall season and it is absolutely gorgeous. If you want something that screams fall, spice, luxurious, this is it. It smells unique. It's complex. It's not your everyday, you know, pumpkin or spice or apple. It's just really, really unique and I love it. 
So that's the fragrance that we're going to use today. Okay, so I've added 10% uh, fragrance to my wax, and now I wanna add a little bit of mica because I want to color this. I want to see how it does with color. So I want it just a really nice, like light pink color. So far it looks beautiful. It looks really beautiful. All right, so let's pour. First, I'm gonna use the chrysanthemum uh, mold. And there's that beautiful pink color. Maybe I'll do some seashells next. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let these solidify and then we're gonna come back, unmold them and see what we've got. All right, guys, I wanted to show you a close up of the embeds and how they turned out. They have actually really great detail. So I am pretty impressed. Um, they're pretty solid. And this was after maybe an hour of setting. Um, so they turned out really, really well. And as you can see, they're just really cute that you can put on a, um, you know, one of these larger wooden dough bowl candles. And if you have the smaller candles, you know, like the auras, you can put these like right on top. If you want just to add a little bit of decoration, if you're doing a seaside candle type thing, you can put it on just like that. Um, this one, we're still waiting for it to completely set, but so far we've got a pretty good smooth top. So I am hopeful that that is going to burn beautifully. Again, I use 10% fragrance load. Don't go above that. The chrysanthemum, um, the flower turned out good. Again, you know, you want to leave it in there as long as possible, preferably overnight, but you can see the detail. You know, it got the sharp points and everything. I also did this mold because I want to show you guys like the, devil, the level of um, detail that you can get with this particular... Um, wax and as you can tell it's a pretty good level of detail that you can get um, so definitely give this a try if you want to do embeds or if you want to take a shot at doing some pillar candles this has great detail um, it sets pretty quickly and um, it's also going to give you these little great options for embeds for either your wooden dobo candles or for your auras or other candles I hope that you found today's video informative and that it helps you in your candle making journey. Definitely do give the Ultra Cream Paraffin Pillar Wax a try from Make See. Um, like you saw, it has beautiful definition. It sets quickly. Just remember, no more than 10% fragrance load. You do want to heat it a little bit on the hotter side because uh, it did start to set pretty quickly. So if you're doing a big batch, heat it a little bit more closer to 200 but you saw it has great detail um, and it's perfect for if you want to do little embeds into your candles um, or if you want to try your hand at pillar candles i will list all of the products that i've used down in the description below be sure to use my discount code nicomas home 20 for 20 percent off your order at makesy.com as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye